EUS guided cyst esophagostomy using a lumen opposing metal stent for drainage of a pancreatic fluid collection in a pediatric patient. Our patient is an 8 year old boy who was referred for evaluation of abdominal pain, dysphagia, and failure to thrive. His recent history includes multiple visits to the emergency room over a five year period for intermittent abdominal pain. He was diagnosed with constipation and treated as such. Amylacent lipase elevations were noted but were non-diagnostic for episodes of acute pancreatitis. He had previously undergone colonoscopy and upper abdoscopy, both of which were negative. MR enterography was performed demonstrating a bilobe fluid collection superior to the pancreatic body with a 3 by 3.5 centimeter component near the gastric body in continuity with a 6.5 by 5 centimeter component within the mediastinum. After evaluation, this lesion was felt to be most consistent with a pancreatic fluid collection. The patient was subsequently diagnosed with hereditary chronic pancreatitis related to two mutations in the chymotrypsin C gene. Prior to EUS guided intervention, a routine upper endoscopy was performed demonstrating extrinsic compression at the distal esophagus, likely the culprit for the patient's failure to thrive and ongoing dysphagia. Using a linear array echo endoscope, the mediastinal component was identified immediately proximal to the gastroesophageal junction. The intra-abdominal component of the bilobed fluid collection was also identified and evaluated. However, no safe window could be identified for EUS guided drainage due to intervening vasculature. The echoendoscope was withdrawn and the mediastinal fluid collection was again identified. A 19 gauge EUS FNA needle was used to puncture the collection. Contrast was instilled to identify the lesion fluoroscopically and a 450 centimeter guide wire was passed into the collection and coiled several times. A 4 millimeter biliary dilating balloon was passed over the wire to dilate the track. The dilating balloon was removed. The lumen opposing metal stent was passed over the guide wire with placement of the catheter tip within the collection. The proximal flange was subsequently deployed within the collection while the distal flange was deployed under both endosonographic and fluoroscopic guidance. The collection was again accessed with a guide wire via the lumen opposing metal stent. A 10 French by 4 centimeter long double pigtail plastic stent was placed within the lumen opposing metal stent to provide anchoring. A CT scan was performed four weeks after stent placement and identified complete resolution of the previous bilobed pancreatic fluid collection. Repeat upper endoscopy was performed with removal of both the double pigtail plastic stent as well as the lumen opposing metal stent. Prior to endoscope withdrawal, contrast was injected through the tract. The only remaining cavity was that left behind from the previously placed lumen opposing metal stent. The patient remains clinically well one month after stent removal. Additionally, his dysphagia has completely resolved. In conclusion, this case demonstrates that EUS-guided cyst esophagostomy can be considered a viable alternative in select patients who are symptomatic for mediastinal fluid collections when less invasive alternate options are exhausted.